All right. We're going to move on. Uh, we're going to go to the Rangers this week because we're going to be talking plenty about the Islanders in a little bit. Um, but Gerard Gallant and Ryan Reeves both had comments this week uh, about, of course, the Tom Wilson incident. Because if there's anything after Jack Eichel I'm tired of talking about, it's Tom Wilson. And um, Gallant is guaranteeing that the team – it's not, it's not going to overtake the team. They're going to be physical, and they don't see it happening anymore. And Ryan Reeves' comment that Phil sent into the chat last night, either way, I would tell him, either way, we're fighting three times or I'm jumping you. Take your pick. I love that. John? Like I said, he's, their, he's the answer to their Tom Wilson problem. Uh, I think he's more than that, though. I, I, I think he's going to be a great locker room guy. This locker room was missing something like that. You think that that locker room would have responded that way and said something like that last year? Nope. Nobody, nobody would have had the stones in the locker room to say something like that. And good on Brendan Smith for for you know going out and fighting him. But where were the where were the cojones in this locker room before Ryan Reeves? He brings them now. He brings that swagger. He brings that enthusiasm. He's a locker room presence that this locker room needed. Like I said, the Tony D'Angelo incident doesn't happen if you have a better leadership group and a better coach in a locker room. The the lack of quality starts down the stretch against teams like the Islanders, the Bruins, um, and the uh, the Penguins doesn't happen with a better leadership group. Ryan Reeves whether he wears a letter or not is going to have an impact on that locker room. And if you're a Ranger and you see that quote, I'm saying to myself, shit. Yeah. We just got a guy that's going to, that's going to watch our back. So, you know what? Come at us now. Come at us now. Bring it. I'm doing, I'm doing a little, um, if you smell what the rock is cooking and, Turning my hand over and bringing it rubble <laughs> style, baby. Well, what is the L Rock cooking? Um, I, you know, I like the comment from Reeves. It shows that you know he he's not going to stand for stuff like this. And if he was on the ice, uh, maybe things play out differently. Uh, my only thing with it is Tom Wilson's not going to fight Ryan Reeves. Yeah, he fought Brandon Smith, and he fights guys that you know aren't really you know real real threats to him. He's not going to fight Ryan Reeves. So the problem with what Reeves says, if Wilson turns him down, then he tries to jump him, then you're putting your team in the penalty box, and, you know, that could be a disadvantage. But, um, you know, Tom Wilson, like I say, he's never – he's not going to answer the bell to guys that he knows that are probably bigger and better than him. That That's the issue with Tom Wilson. I like what Ryan Reeves said. It's just I don't know if Wilson will would oblige to fighting him. I think he'd, I think he'd avoid it. Just because also, too, don't forget, Tom Wilson is, unfortunately, give him his due. He can do a lot of good things on the ice. He, you know, he can score points and do good things. So he's not going to put, you know, he's not going to put himself in the penalty box by fighting a guy like Ryan Reeves. So, um, but you know, regardless though, Reeves is going to have this type of impact on the Rangers. You know, guys may may think twice about doing certain things, um, and they're between Reeves and Goudreau and you know Sammy Bly. I think they will be a tougher team. So yeah, incidents like that with the Capitals game that likely won't happen again. Uh, and also, too, you're going to have a coach in Gerard Gallant who's going to be structured and very well disciplined. And, you know, even him, he's, you know, he's not going to, you know, coach a team that's just going to roll over. So um, I'm actually I'm curious to see the first game between they play each other, the Capitals and the Rangers. That should be uh, that should be interesting. See if there's any carryover. Um, but again, I'm not expecting, you know, Tom Wilson to do anything else that game. Um, you know, Ryan Reeves, again, will probably say, give him the hey, how you doing a couple of times. But I don't know if it'll actually result in a, you know, them fighting. But overall, though, I mean, listen, I said it before, the Rangers are going to be a much tougher team to play against. No doubt about that. It's just, it's, it's, Gavon saying this is not going to overtake the team was very important um, because th they can't be focusing on Tom Wilson. They got to focus on winning hockey games. They do have to focus also, but by the way, going from the Tom incident, they got to show that they're not going to be physically intimidated. And that's why exactly why Blaze and Barkley Goudreau and Reeves are here. I mean, they're going to be a team that's not going to get pushed around. Do you, do you big punk? You won't be pushed around. <laughs> um, what is that? that was saying, Eve? If you guys, 
Uh, it was actually closer to Zangief, yeah. But uh, you were rounders. Yeah, I was going with rounders for that. Oh, and no, Teddy KGB over there. Teddy KGB. But yeah, I think I, I definitely came up more than one Zangief. Whenever the fact I won. Yeah, which it's amazing what John Malk John Malkovich can say every syllable and enunciate it. All right, but back to this though. It's um, <laughs> I mean that's why they got these guys. And you know, you said it. Both of you guys said it in there. The amount of, uh, of just Quijones in that locker room now. That now you got guys that could go out there and like Artemi Panera was trying to defend his his teammate and his friend. That's why he jumped on Tom Wilson's back. Now, I mean, again, Tom Wilson picked the right time to do it. You do it on the power play, but now it's you're going to get these moments where uh, there's consequences and guys will have that in the back of their head is a reason why Marty, Marty McSorley is in all those other guys had jobs for years. So, well, I mean, not just that, but just two things to, to wrap from my end. One is uh, Anthony, you're right about Tom Wilson. Skill player can do other things. You give the devil his due. He's a guy that everybody would want on their team. If it wasn't for the fact that he was, he's a complete dirtbag on the ice, but one uh, hold on, guys. We got to pause here, so. everything for a minute because we have joining us from the athletic. Whoop, I had you on there. <laughs> joining us from the athletic, we have Arthur Staple. Arthur, thank you very much for joining us. We got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.